Oh man, I just realized I didn't film Phoenix saying goodbye today and we don't see him for a week. Dang it. Oh well. Anyway, uh, starting off the work day, I've got a vehicle I've got to work on and I need a tool. So we're here at Harbor Freight. Cheap tools. Sometimes they work once. <laughs> and then after that, eh, it's anybody's guess. I really wish that I could like drive around and like play the music that I listen to to you guys although in the background sometimes I know that you guys can hear it and that's that's fine but man I wish that I could really do that and I mean I could but then I wouldn't get the 38 cents I get a day for posting a video <laughs> so okay so where are we we're at the middle of the day we are going through a roundabout right now I'm signaling out of the roundabout it is 3 9 p.m. local Pacific time the workday is not done. I have uh, started and finished one car. It was what? An air filter check for power steering leak, an oil change, battery service, and a blower motor. Customer diagnosed the blower motor themselves, and lucky for them, they were correct. So that's good. And uh, still working on BMW. I have went through and ran a bunch of tests so I know now what I think are good and I am on a track to figuring it out so like I said before everything is process of elimination you just bring it down and, and it'll lead you hopefully to the right answer unless you start second guessing yourself and that happens quite often all right so where are we oh yeah uh, it's uh it's that time of the year it's uh, holiday season it's uh, present season it's time to uh, well, I can't tell you guys, but we're going to go out and we're going to do a little uh, a little presenting. Not presenting, but presenting. So you get this guy right here. Let's slow down. Let's slow down for him. Or her. Ah, there we go. All right. Okay, on with our journey. Uh-oh. That elf on a shelf is, uh, oh, I don't know what to say about it. I don't think that it ended well for him. <laughs> well, this is funny. FedEx office for Christmas gifts? What? <laughs> Ow, dude, butt lights. Jeez, in your face. All right, guys, guess what? I think I have a handle on uh, this BMW I've been working on. As uh, Scooby-Doo would say, a clue? Or maybe as Blue's Clues, I don't know. <laughs> um, no, Scooby, definitely. This car had a flat tire on it. It still has a flat tire on it, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't run. The customer took the car and he started driving it and then it chugged and it stopped running, wouldn't restart. It would crank, the engine would crank over, but it wouldn't restart. He calls me, I show up, there's no RPM indication, so I recommend a crank sensor. A pretty deep job, the intake has to come off, it's, it's pretty, pretty tricky. So, I replaced the crank sensor. We have spark now, but it still doesn't run, but it wants to. I'm like, huh, well that's weird. I mean, it, it kind of chugs a little bit. So I test the fuel pump. Fuel pump's not working. So in other words, whatever it's trying to ignite is already in the cylinder. Put a new fuel pump in it. Regain uh, fuel pressure. Still, won't start. So I'm like, what the heck? So I pull all the spark plugs out of it. I pull the coils off of it. I start like really getting in, doing a compression test to make sure the engine is good and the uh, cam timing is good, so the timing chain is good. The spark plugs are fuel fouled, not oil fouled, which is interesting. And they're wet with fuel. So it's like, okay, I have a no spark situation. I go through and I test each coil, primary and secondary resistance of all the coils. They're all just about the same. So this leads me to think, okay, well, I should be able to dry out the cylinders, put new spark plugs in it, and it should run fine. Well, as I am testing all this, it's like, okay, let me make sure about everything before I start putting things back together. So I double check that I've got power and ground to the coils, and then I hook up my lab scope just to make sure that the crank sensor I put in is giving a constant signal. So I check my pulse width at my uh, ignition coils 
and I have a signal, I think. It's been a long time since I've used a lab scope, so, but I, I see something, and it's consistent. So I'm like, okay, these coils should be firing, the spark plugs should be firing, I've got fuel, I've got timing, I've got compression, I've got everything that I need. So I go to spray this the uh, cylinder out, and I'm like, what the heck? I look into the cylinder, and in one cylinder, it's wet inside, but it's consistently wet, and the carbon is saturated, so there's a little bit of carbon on the top of the pistons. Another one is wet, but it's droplets, and they have pooled on top. I'm like, oh man, do I have a blown head gasket? I look in the uh, coolant reservoir, I sniff it, there's no hydrocarbons, there's no fuel in the reservoir, so it's like, okay, well, I don't have a blown head gasket as far as coolant cylinder intermix, but just to make sure, I, I taste it, just on the tip of my tongue, I tasted the water that was in the cylinder, and it was not coolant. The only other place I could have come from, besides like driving through a huge puddle, but then you probably would have had uh, vapor lock or uh, hydro lock rather, and your engine would have like not ran. Yeah, so if that had been the case, then it probably would have like bent things inside the engine because water does not compress. So anyway, the other, the only other place it could have come from was the fuel tanks. I'm like, no way. So I take a sample of fuel and guess what I have? Water. <laughs> this customer tells me that their flat tire was caused by a woman that didn't like him too much. And she punctured the sidewall of the tire. And I will only speculate that she also dumped a bunch of water into the fuel tank uh, the door does not have a lock on it. You just push on it to open the door and the fuel cap uh, does not have a lock on it either. So you can just take it off and access the fuel. So I have purged the tank and we're going to go and get some fuel and some heat, put it in the fuel tank and hopefully with any luck, it'll start. We can wrap things up, bill it out and be done. I'm really, really hoping. Wow, so much has happened. And I also have to remember what I can film and what I can't. I can't wait until the party Saturday so I don't have to worry about not filming things. Let's go into my messy office. <sighs> I went to the BMW. I put heat in the tank. I put fresh fuel in the tank. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And, um... Long story short, I, I purged the, uh, or I thought that I purged all the old fuel out, um, and I dried everything out, dried the cylinders out, put the spark plugs in, put the coils back in, started it. It didn't want to start at first, and then it did, and then it started running by itself, and then I got it up to like 2,000, 3,000 RPM, and I was holding it there, and it was doing okay. It was running rough. It still had a misfire, and then it started blah, 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 chugging and chugging, and then it shut off, and it won't start again. <laughs> oh, man. So, this has been my day, but it's, it's progress. It is progress, because now I've got an absolute handle kind of on what's going on. I got it running, so there is that. Okay, uh, I smell like gasoline. What do you smell like? I smell like Buffy. Yes, yes you do. All right. Angie's out uh, shopping right now for the party and other things, so that's why she hasn't um, made her presence in the vlog yet today. It's just been me rambling about cars. It is that time once again. It's actually kind of past that time. I, I usually like to do this like the first week of the month, maybe the second week, and we're into... Wow. We're almost done with the third week of the month. Anyway, um, Patreon shoutouts. Thank you guys so very, very much, especially in this trying time that I don't vlog a lot of. Um, it's very much appreciated. Uh, and then also I would like to... Oh, act, let's do this first, and then I'll do that. Uh, so, uh, Patreon shoutouts for the month of December. Shane Tyler, Tony Fred, Nicole Flynn, Josh Bryant, Todd Wilkinson, Jason Walker, Mike Labs, Ben Massey, Sean Clonch, Brian and Misty Head, Darth Anger, Joe Poppenhagen. Thank you guys so very, very much. Um, again, we appreciate it. Um, uh, you guys and all 
of the patrons. So also, CNS Services, Clarence Kempke. Uh, Clarence, uh, there was a fire where he lives, and so he and his family are no longer living where they used to because they have been displaced. So, uh, man, uh, sending all the positive energy and good vibes uh, to you guys. I just wanted to, Clarence, I know you and I have emailed, but I wanted to put it on the vlog so that other people knew what was going on with you guys. And, um, yeah, <laughs> oh, man, I can't even imagine. I've never gone through that before. So, uh, like I said in emails, Clarence, uh, just, you know, keep looking up and um, just uh, keep just make every day better do something to make every day better and just keep plugging on so all right on that note uh, i'm going to turn the heater off so that i don't burn down my chair and then oh i can't show that hold on hold on a second guys hold on so we're going into the kitchen area well they nobody's seen you like all day okay. <laughs> so, oh man, so I've been working on a car and you were out shopping and so, and and Buffy, look, look at you, look at that, you got a haircut. You didn't do my paws. No, I didn't do your paws. I have long furry paws and my nails are too long. Yeah, well. Will you cut my nails? Yes, I will cut your nails. Yay. <laughs> I need a pedicure. See, at least this way here. I will love up on her. It, it actually gets to the point to where she shed so horribly bad that uh, we didn't want her like rubbing up on our guests because oh, it's so, I've never I've never experienced a dog that sheds as much as she does. Yeah, I mean she'll just like rub up against you like that, and you're covered in hair, and you're like covered. Yeah. So at least this way here. And as soon as you started shaving her, she was all like lying down. <laughs> she, she was like she's total like, a like, total oh, diva. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she says, "Now you guys are going to give me attention." Ah, oh, so happy, so happy. Not going to be a hairy dog. At least with these hairs, I can't see them. It is late, uh, and she's been prepping for uh, the party this weekend. And then she also has well, we also have movie night tomorrow at the school. So definitely not a lack of anything to do. Yeah, I have a very, very full day tomorrow. I have a feeling you're still going to be up late, and I'm probably going to go to bed. What, right now? Well, soon. Well, I, I, there's not too much I can do. Well, oh. there's a couple more things I so, can do tonight. But so you're almost done? Just stop. So. Okay, good. Do we have time for a snack? I don't know if I'm hungry for a snack. What? We have a late dinner. It's 2 o'clock in the morning almost. It's almost breakfast then. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, happy hauntings. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Did you wave? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Say boof. Boof. Can you get a tree? Say boof. Can you say, you can't say boof, can you? Try no. it. Try to say boof. All I say can do is speak. Say, no, don't. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Say boof. Boof. <laughs> There. Oh, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Let's go get something. Oh, this oh boy. <laughs>